Praise the Most High God, my brothers and sisters. I've come before you this day, October the 23rd, 2017. My Lord, my brothers and sisters, you know, I wanted to start off by saying that the Lord is, is truly, 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 truly speaking in this hour. Say a brief prayer with me, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We come before you this night, Lord God. We humble ourselves and we bring ourselves down very low, God. Father, I ask you to forgive me and forgive us all of any sins that we have committed before you, O oh God. Wash us clean in the precious blood of the Lamb, O oh God. Open up our ears spiritually so that we may hear what the Holy Spirit is speaking in this season. Open up our eyes, Father God, so that we may witness the signs and the wonders in the heavens. In the mighty name of Jesus, let all who hear this this word, Lord God, tonight, let it, let it, uh, 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 elevate, let it elevate them in their walk with you, Lord God, Father God, in the name of Jesus, let it not be my words, but your words, Father God, because you said in your word for thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Father God, as we see the day rapidly approaching us, Father God, I thank you that we will all continue to be watchful in Jesus name. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let me start off by saying, I was on my way to work this morning and I got on the freeway and but, but before I got on the freeway the sun was so bright the sun was so bright and so uh as I was getting uh to making a left to to turn on the freeway oh my goodness the sun was increasing I saw the cars the traffic was so thick and around the time that I normally go uh when I go to work the traffic is normally flowing but this time it was it was like you know like it had been a car accident or something up front the cars were moving extremely slow and as i got on the freeway i could see why i couldn't even hardly see and the sun y'all was in a position and i should have taken pictures but i was driving so it was dangerous the sun was in a position to where i've never seen it shine as bright as it did like i was blinded I was blinded. I had on shades and I still, and I have a tint like a, um, it's called an eyebrow, like going across uh, the top of your windshield, um, to keep block the sun out. Y'all, I kind of sat up a little bit with my shades on and looking, kind of seeing, trying to see through this eyebrow where it was extremely tinted in my car. I couldn't hardly see. Like I was almost like my eyes were blinking, like, like the light was blinding. It was extremely blinding and what i heard in the spirit next whew, glory be to god i heard signs in the sun that's what i heard in the spirit there shall be signs in the sun and glory be to god and let me tell y'all how the holy spirit i knew it was the holy spirit that was speaking to me because see god what he does is time and time again he confirms his word he told us in luke 21 and 25 and i'm going to read this scripture to y'all and this backs up what he showed me today and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity the sea and the waves roaring glory be to god that's luke 21 and 25 and let me tell y'all i always keep youtube playing while i'm at work throughout the day because i do work in an office and you know i like to listen to my gospel music and listen to testimonies and things like that well i was listening to this uh, uh one brother's testimony roberto august uh, augusto the one who i uploaded uh this evening uh to my channel i shared his video well glory be to god he's given me he gave me permission to share it because his testimony and his vision that the lord gave him was powerful as well so after his video got through playing i looked over uh you know to see what was next up in line and y'all guess what guess what and i'm gonna give y'all her name i i asked the sister would she uh um, allow me to share her video, but she hadn't responded yet. The name of her channel is Lauren Lindsay, and that's L A U R E N Lindsay, L I N D S A Y. Guess what the title was to her videos? Signs in the Sun. <laughs> Signs in the Sun. Glory, glory be to God. And she has many of them, you guys. She has many of them, and one of them she has Signs in the Sun, Luke 21 and 25. Uh, as prophesied, Jesus is coming soon. So this was confirmation what I heard and what I saw in the spirit. And let me tell y'all, this video that this sister in Christ put up 
that the Lord, and she doesn't have many uh, uh, followers on her channel. She doesn't have many views, but guess what? It's powerful. The photos that this sister in Christ has up on her channel uh, uh, concerning the sun and the signs in the heavens, she even has some with the moon, is powerful. Oh my goodness, this confirms, and Sister Kim Mosley, I had sent you a message because I wanted you to email me because I wanted to talk to you. So uh, prayerfully, you can, you can email me with your number so we can talk because this confirms also what the Lord had been showing you with the, uh, 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 with the sun, well, it wasn't the sun, but the glory, uh, the glory cloud or the glory light that's been shining over your, your home. Glory be to God. This is more confirmation to you. Sister, go check her out on her channel and I'll leave uh, her name in the link uh, of this video so you guys can go and check it out because she has got some powerful footage and images of the sun and the wonders that, that are in heaven. And it does not look like the sun alone. This, y'all, this is something powerful. And I know that this is the Holy Spirit speaking. Glory be to God because he confirms his word to us time and time again. This is more confirmation to many of us who have been looking up and who have been watching and who have been waiting for the return of our Lord. Brothers and sisters, do not grow weary. Glory be to God. Do not grow weary because he said in his word, to those that look for him will he appear the second time without sin unto salvation. Glory be to God. We continue to look for our Lord. We continue to look for the blessed hope. Stay on fire for Christ, the Holy Spirit. And let me tell y'all, when I came home, as well the sun it was doing the same thing it was doing the same thing that it was doing this morning glory be to god i got in the spirit and i got on my knees and i prayed and the holy spirit fell upon me because you got god is so gracious he is so merciful he could have came yesterday he could have came the day before yesterday he could have came a year ago he could have came two years ago but guess what he has been long suffering to us we're not willing that any should perish but that all should come into repentance Glory be to God. I thank him for having mercy upon my soul. I thank him for having mercy upon your soul because we have loved ones, brothers and sisters, who have not yet come to Christ. There are people out there dying. There are people out there getting ready to go to hell, the lake of fire, and don't even know it. Don't even know if they're caught up with the cares and the concerns of this world. But as I stated in one of my other videos that I just uploaded, that this world has no good thing to offer you. Let's keep our eyes fixed on Jesus because anything else outside of that is a distraction from the enemy. He is trying to cause us to miss our mark. So we won't make it into the kingdom. But guess what? The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. He will not and he cannot have our souls. Because Jesus said that all whom the Father have given him, he will in no wise cast out. <laughs> Hallelujah. Glory to God. He will in no wise cast us out. We know in fact that our Father, our Heavenly Father has given us to Jesus. He has called us all. Those who have an ear to hear with us, saith the Lord God Almighty. Hallelujah. He has called us out of sin. He has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. He didn't have to do it, but, but guess what? He did. He did not have to do it because I'm a filthy wretch. I was a filthy wretch and I'm still a filthy wretch. But guess what? He dug deep down in the trenches to pull me out. And I know he did, glory be to God, because I should have been dead, buried in my grave. And I'll be sharing a testimony too, my testimony, because we all have one of how uh, uh, I almost lost my life, not on uh, uh, one occasion, but on more than one occasion. And I could have died in my sins. But guess what? The glory of God was upon my life. He spared me so that I can come and be a blessing to somebody else and tell somebody that, that, that he, did it, he did it for me. So guess what? I know he can do it for you. So we all have a testimony and he calls us to share our testimony with others because that's why he brings us out because he gets the glory in all things. He gets the glory in all things and that, that will, our testimony will help somebody else. You know, that will help bring somebody else in who went through the exact same thing that you did so that they can know Jesus is in fact real and he does love us. He loves us all so much. And if only we can just wrap our head around it, that, that, that even when we were in our mess, he loves us still because he has a plan for our life. He has a purpose for our life. You know, uh, uh, you know, many of us think that, 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 that we were, 
that we're not anything, that we're, we're too dirty and we're too filthy for Jesus to love us. But guess what? That makes him love us all the more because we need him. He knows that we need a savior. We need a savior. We need Jesus because he said, what did he tell the, uh, um, what did he tell the, the Pharisees and the scribes that he that is not in need of the physician? Well, guess what? If you don't need Jesus, then you know, he looks at it like, okay, if you don't need me and you think that you can do this all by yourself, then go ahead. But guess what? I am a sinner and I'm saved by grace. Glory be to God. And I am in need of a savior. And I thank Jesus for saving me and not only saving me, but for saving all of us. He is so gracious. He is so merciful. And I just wanted to share that testimony with you, brothers and sisters. I pray that it bless you. I pray that, it's, that it edifies you. And I pray that it gives someone hope out there that thinks that that Jesus is not coming back, but he is coming back sooner than we all think. There are signs in the sun. And that is how I heard it in the spirit in that order. And that is how he showed it to me in this sister's video. Signs in the sun. And that was the exact title of her video of what I heard in the spirit. Glory be to God. Let us continue to be watchful. Let us continue to warn others. Let us continue to tell others about Jesus Christ and the work that he has already accomplished on the cross. Our Savior is risen and we're going to be with him. He has went to prepare a place for us, a glorious place. So I charge you, brothers and sisters, this day, go and tell somebody. Go and tell somebody about Jesus. And there are signs in the sun. Glory be to God. I love you. Jesus loves you too. Shalom.